Hello, in this video we're going to talk about several methods you can import your trips to APDL. First let's talk about the APDL Toolkit, a built-in extension to Safari web browser. To use the APDL Toolkit, navigate to your company's website, view your schedule, then tap the share button and select the APDL Toolkit from the menu. This will open APDL and you'll have three selections to be able to choose how you want to process that page. You can process the entire page at once, which is what I've done here. If you've highlighted only a portion of the text on the page, you can process just that portion of the text. For example, if you only wanted to import one trip or maybe a few trips, but not the whole page, APDL will then process that data through the schedule importer. After your data has been processed, you'll see this screen, which will allow you to review all the changes that APDL has detected between what you have already entered in APDL and what's on your company website. Tap this button to the right to expand for additional details. You can scroll through all the trips here and choose to skip or include that in the import. Up at the top of each section, you have some summary data about each trip. You'll use this same page to review all of your imported trips with all of the different import methods we're going to discuss in this video. Before you can use the APDL toolkit, you have to enable it in your Safari browser. The first time you try to use the APDL toolkit from within APDL, by tapping on this import trip row in your menu, if you tap the APDL Toolkit option, you'll be taken to this page which will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable the toolkit. First you want to use the Share button here at the top. This is on an iPad. On an iPhone it would be down toward the bottom. The bottom row here I'm going to scroll across to the right until I see the More button. Tap that and scroll down until I find APDL Toolkit. I'm going to enable that. I can also use the three lines at the right to tap and drag to put it anywhere I like on the list. I'm going to put it at the top so it's easy to find. There it is on the far left. Now I can use the APDL toolkit anytime when I have Safari browser open rather than having to go through APDL first. If you're using APDL.net to import your trips, this is a continuation of a previous video that explains that process. If you haven't seen that video yet, go to this link and watch that video first. Once you get to the end of that process, the last step is going to be processing your pace of trip data. Once that's completed, you'll see down here we have a successful trip processed and a note that tells us to click this button down here to import our trips into APDL. As you can see, there's no changes in this trip because I've already imported it. If there were changes, you would see those changes reflected here. Once you've processed your trips and click the button to send them to APDL from APDL.net, you'll get a notification at the bottom that tells you you have a trip ready for import. You can then click the Import Trips button on the menu and tap One Trip from APDL.net to have it imported. If you're familiar with using APDL.net to import your schedules, the Paste and Process method is exactly the same method, except it takes place on your phone right inside the app instead of on APDL.net. To use the paste and process method, open your menu and tap the import trip row. You get this pop-up and you can choose paste and process. I've already copied my trip data from my crew website and I can paste it in by using this button at the top left. Tap process at the top right. And now we have a summary of the changes from my trip. In this case the trip's already been imported just like the previous example, but if I had changes here we would see those changes and be able to review them. 